It's time to explore the Orion Nebula, one of the most popular objects in our galaxy. Located inside of the famous Orion constellation, the Orion Nebula is one of the brightest and most easily visible nebulae in our night sky. In fact, you may have been mistaking it for another star this whole time. If you look at the Orion constellation, the nebula is visible as one of the dots in the Sword of Orion. This can be found right below the belt, which is usually easy to find in the sky, even with a lot of light pollution. The Orion Nebula was first officially discovered by the French astronomer Nicolas Claude Fabry de Pierresque in 1610, although there is some evidence that it may have been observed much earlier by Roman, Persian, and Mayan stargazers. The Orion Nebula is only around 1,344 light years from Earth, making it relatively close to our solar system in galactic terms. While it's not technically the closest nebula, it's definitely the brightest, with an apparent magnitude of plus four. This means that we can see Orion without a telescope on a clear night. There are several different types of nebulas, and they share some similar characteristics. The Orion Nebula is technically a diffuse nebula, which essentially means it's extended and lacks a more defined boundary. There are also different types of diffuse nebulae, with Orion being more specifically an emission type nebula. Typical of an emission nebula, Orion features ionized gases that have been lit up by ultraviolet radiation from hot young stars. In the case of Orion, there is a group of stars in the heart of the nebula called the Trapezium Cluster. These stars formed in the last 300,000 years and now light up the surrounding dust and gas, leading to the beautiful scene we see today. Other than its brightness and easy visibility, Orion is also the closest area of large-scale star formation to Earth. This makes it an ideal target for astronomers looking to understand how stars are formed. This complex process begins when clouds of ionized gases contract under the pressure of their own gravity. As this gas collapses, it gets hotter and hotter until it eventually triggers a nuclear fusion reaction and a new protostar is formed. There are currently more than 700 stars in various stages of formation inside the Orion Nebula. Interstellar clouds, like the Orion Nebula, are a common feature inside of galaxies like our Milky Way. These dense areas of dust, gas, and plasma sit dormant until the size, temperature, or density reach a point where star formation can take place. So, next time you have a clear night, see if you can locate the Orion Nebula and take a look at where stars are being born, only a thousand or so light years away. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want us to cover another object in our cosmos, just let us know in the comments.